Hi there, I'm Desmond Brophy. I'm a major with the Canadian Forces on exchange with the United States Air Force where I'm an experimental test pilot on the F-16. We're here in my office today to talk a little bit about stability as it relates to a general aviation aircraft and compared to a fighter aircraft. What I have behind me is a sort of generic picture of an aircraft with the center of gravity shown in red. The situation with the general aviation aircraft, airplanes I like to refer to as God-fearing airplanes, has, of course, weight acting through the center of gravity, down, and the, all the lift force is essentially acting behind that, pointing up. Because of the couple that's created that would tend to push the nose down, here in the tail, you have to have a downward facing lift component that keeps the, the situation stable. In this case, you've got a general aviation aircraft that's nice and stable, reacts nicely, you pitch the nose up, release it, the nose is going to want to pitch down. Something that's not very pretty about this situation is you've got this downward acting lift force called trim drag, which essentially in a negative way impacts our range and endurance and is something really we'd like to avoid. This is the situation with our God-fearing general aviation airplanes. Let's talk about what happens with a fighter aircraft. You've probably heard that such airplanes are highly maneuverable and that's because the airplanes are designed to be unstable. Let's talk about that. In a fighter, typical non-God-fearing airplane or highly augmented airplane, say like the F-16, those airplanes are designed to have all the lift, the center of lift, acting forward of the center of gravity. Now, to counteract that couple at the tails, we have an upward facing lift. Now in this very elegant situation, we have, as it should be, all the lift facing up. This means that we get an increase in our range and our endurance performance, which is something we seek. The problem with this situation is we've generated an essentially unstable situation. What do I mean by that? Well, consider a relative wind that's approaching, for simplicity, the center of gravity here at a certain angle of attack alpha. Now the pilot pulls back on the stick, or maybe there's a small perturbation in the airflow that increases the angle of attack. When that happens, as you might expect, the lift increases. Now the lift in this case is ahead of the center of gravity. This pitches the nose up. You pitch the nose up, you get an even further increase in the angle of attack. And the situation is quickly going to spiral out of control if left unchecked. And the airplane will tumble out of control. Now, why would anybody design such a thing? Of course, we've spoken about how we remove the trim drag and we get all the lift facing up. But the bigger reason is that we now have an airplane that's extremely maneuverable. Maneuverability means that in a dogfight situation, we can reduce the time to kill, which is what it's all about in our business. But how do we keep the situation from spiraling out of control? Well, we have to introduce something called a flight control computer, which is just that. It's a processor that has hardware and software inside. In order to prevent this runaway angle of attack and runaway lift, what we do is we take that angle of attack, we sense it, feed it back into the flight control computer as an input, and as an output come commands to the tail to remove the unwanted angle of attack so the airplane stays nice and controllable, yet highly maneuverable. The problem with a situation like this is, like with any computer, it needs electricity to operate. If you don't have electricity, the computer doesn't work and the airplane can tumble out of control. In addition, you need a hydraulic system to move the tails. If you don't have a hydraulic system to move the tails, again, the airplane can tumble out of control. This is why we say that in an airplane that's highly augmented or non-God-fearing, if you want to put it that way, if you lose either the electrics or the hydraulics, that's not an and, it's an or, doesn't matter what the pilot does, the airplane is going to tumble out of control. Now, the F-16 is a single engine airplane, one engine to drive the electric system and the hydraulic systems. So, in the event of an engine failure, we have an emergency power unit that's designed to operate an emergency electric source as well as one of the hydraulic systems to allow us to control the airplane for a flameout landing. Here at Edwards, when we change either the engine or if we change the flight control computer hardware or software, we have to do testing to make sure that the airplane retains its either resistance to departure or if the airplane does depart from controlled flight, that we can get it back into controlled flight safely.